The other day we made some deep frying doma that were very crispy on the outside and very soft in the inside. And today we are going to be making some sweet potato fries. With me I have my ingredient and I'm planning to have some sweet potato fries and some beef. And this is frozen beef so I'm going to be refrying it again so that I can give it more flavor. And I'll start off by slicing my sweet potato. And by the way this sweet potato has already been boiled so it's ready to eat just as it is but you know we do not like boring things over here so i'm just going to slice it like that yeah and that's pretty much it no further ado let's get started so once my pan is uh, hot and dry I'm going to need some cooking oil. Then I'm going to give this about a minute or so so that my oil can become hot. So you know your cooking oil is hot enough. If you insert a wooden skewer or a muiko and you see bubbles forming, that's how you know your oil is ready. I'll gently add in my sweet potatoes. Then I'm going to give this a couple of minutes so that my sweet potatoes can be uh, perfectly fried. So this has been the frame for about 4 minutes now and I'm going to gently uh, try and eat them. Then I'll also give this other side about three to four minutes, then this should be ready. So a couple of minutes later, you can see they are golden, just how we want them. And this means that they are ready. The beautiful golden color that you want. So these are ready to be gotten off the fire. And I'm carefully going to do so. Then I've also lined my plate with some kitchen towel to trap in the excess cooking oil. I'll switch that off as well. And finally, so while this is still hot, I'll go in with my salt.
then I also have some spices and I have some black pepper and paprika you can also add any other spice that you feel you're okay with it then I'm going to sprinkle this on top then I'm going to toast this so that all the spices in the network then let's get started on our beef so for the beef this is just a simple recipe I'll start by adding in a few drops of cooking oil then as that becomes hot I'll bring it on oil. so I'm going to saute this till they start turning translucent then I'll be back to adding my other ingredients now that this is how I like it I'll add in my garlic as well as the coriander stem Then add in some tomato paste. Then I'm also going to mix in this half with some water. I'll give this about a minute so that the tomato paste can cook. At this point, I'll go in with my capsicum. Then I'm also going to add in my spices. You can add whichever you like. Then I'm also going to add in my beef and as I earlier mentioned, uh, this was already cooked beef, we are just recooking it. Then I'm going to add in some water for some soup because I want it wet. Then I'll cover this and give it about 5 or so minutes. So my stew is also ready. I'll switch that off. Then I'm going to garnish this with some coriander leaves. Then I'll see you for serving. So finally, you can see that my food is ready and wow, this looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
you can see it's very soft in the inside and very crunchy in the outside mm. this is so good mm. This is another low budget recipe and I guarantee you to scare out time like the rich. So that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.